Hi, my name is Sarit Roydman, and today I would like to give you all a 15 minutes glimpse, maybe your first, into the fourth industrial revolution. So as I said, my name is Sarit. Nice online meeting you. I'm a chemical engineering bachelor, a manufacturing engineer at Metronic, a proud wise member, woman in science and engineering, and a family economic advisor. To shake things up, in my lecture today, I will not talk about uh, some new state-of-the-art implementation of AI or a machine learning algorithm. Instead, we will go into what can mistakenly be considered as low-tech, and I will present you the huge advantage of smart industry formed by those algorithms, from my point of view, as a manufacturer engineer. I must admit that I'm so excited to speak here today. And as the songs say, I just can't hide it. And soon you will all understand why. So, in this lecture, I will introduce you the fourth industrial revolution and the revolution that came before. There is a wide range of uses for Industry 4.0. I've chosen to, um, to introduce you one of the more useful aspects for me as a manufacturer engineer troubleshooting. The method today, its problematic nature, and how smart industry addressed it. Finally, I will provide a glimpse to the Industry 4.0 in Israel. Let's quickly review the revolution that came before. The first one was using machines that operate on steam power and water power. The second one, the transition to mass production assembly line and electricity. What a wonderful discovery. The third one was um, using computer, um, electronic components and automation. Each of the past uh, revolution has its respectable place in history. Our lives have changed and improved dozens of, of times thanks to them. With that being said, production capacity has grown rapidly and with great new industrial power come great new challenges. With that introduction, let me present you the fourth industrial revolution, the information revolution. Warning, long sentence ahead. Advanced microsensors, ultra-fast wireless con connectivity, cloud computing, and advanced AI and machine learning tool all come together, connecting uh, multiple cyber physical units into one smart, autonomous, more than ever decision maker production line. As, a, as I said, there is a wide range of uses for Industry 4.0. Um, improvement and optimization of the process, cost saving, manufacturing investigation, and uh, product development. Um, in this lecture, I have chosen to present you an example of a, a manufacturing investigation. Complaints arrive. Automatic sequence of action starts. Collecting data to identify the problem. Taking a, a temporary countermeasure on the spot. Investigation to find the root cause. And finally, solutions. Proposing a solution, establishing an action plan, and checking the result. Sounds perfectly logical. So what is the problem? The problem is expectations versus reality. Many times the relevant data is a month or years old and not digital. Many times the relevant data is not exist at all and we must rely on memory, employee experience and assumptions. Finding the root cause requires investing resource, um, performing experiments and many times shutting down production. The same with examining uh, solutions. Returning the production plan uh, in, to track not always correspond with the physical capabilities of the materials, the equipment, and manpower. In short, um, data collecting, analyze, and use performed by people from their point of view without the big picture is available for them. By the way, do you know the difference between information and data? Um, 
information is driven from data. Without complete and uh, accurate data, we cannot proceed towards the solution. Production life cycle. I cannot emphasize it enough. A productive production life cycle contains many parts. Supply, process, operation system, computer, customer, <laughs> product, people, and more. All those parts need to work together smoothly and simultaneously. If one wheel squeaks, the whole system is in danger of stopping. So how does Industry 4.0 address those issues? In Industry 4.0, each part is related to another. Gear system, remember? Therefore, I will divide my answer into three parts. Data collection, um, problem solving, and preventive action that all occurred in parallel. Data collection. Imagine a situation, when, where, uh, a situation where all of the data is digital accessible. You know exactly where, where and when each employee worked. You know what were the status of the equipment during production. And you know um, what were the results for each product at every test. You can locate the faulty product and isolate the problem. Problem solving or how to fix the, the actual uh, problem. Performing a digital simulation on a twin system using the collected data to mimic the condition during the fault to understand the malfunction. At the same time, the logistic, uh, the logis logistic leadership will plan a new feasible production strategy, material, manpower, equipment capabilities. Preventing action or how to prevent a similar problem to, from occurring at the future. Improving the training process. Production employees and end user using an AR, VR training. Improving the process using a 3D printing, uh, pre a predictive maintenance and automation. Following the holistic view of fourth, the fourth industrial revolution, we address not only the fault, but also the raw material, the human material, the process, the, the equipment, and of course the log logistic system. While all of the information is transparent and accessible to the dec decision makers. There are currently more than 200 companies in Israel that are related to the field. Robotic and automation sensors, AR, VR, AI, and many more. Many factories have already started their first steps in the field to become smarter and more efficient. One example for predictive maintenance is Philit. Philit is a company that, grow, that grew within the worlds of the chemical and material engineering faculties at the Technion. Their product consists of flexible, non-invasive, nanomaterial sticker sensor that attach to any equipment with, uh, with wireless communication units and AI-driven cloud analytics. The system alerts anomalies in advance, prevents downtime, and uh, cuts maintenance costs. So here's a, an example for a company that ticks many of the right boxes. Advanced sensor, AI, cyber physical system, and IIoT. Just like in the picture, a company that fails to do the technological and mindset change will remain behind. And with these words, long live the revolution.